Hello again, adventurers, and welcome to another episode of Grim Plays Warhammer Quest. So we're picking up where we left off. We had returned with the Tanner. And I guess you only get one uh, quest. You either get the Baker or you get the Tanner. I guess they say, you know, the Baker was easier to find. So maybe that's why they gave you the choice. So for this, let's see, we have a Chaos Rune Shield. That's for the Marauder. Chance to block, plus one toughness, plus one ranged attacks. Let's see what shield he has. Chance to block, plus two toughness. This is only plus one. Not necessarily worth it. We have Mortal's Blade. It's another for the Marauder. 12 to 14 damage, a uh, critical hit on enemies with toughness higher than 6, that's actually a really good weapon. I might go for that and replace that. It's a one-handed, right? Nope, it's a two-handed, so that may be not worth it. Rescue Ermin Nodal, and rescue the blacksmith. Well, we can always go for this and open up the area of Munzig. And I think that's what we're going to do, because I do want to open these areas. And I can always just sell those. Which of those sells for more? The 3100? 2600? Yeah. Let's go for the Mortals. Mortals Blade. Or Mort Mortals Bane. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, let's go for that. The warriors are walking on the road once again when the magic user in the group suddenly sta stops. He stands bolt upright and his eyes turn into pools of dark red. The warrior starts to speak, but his voice is no longer his own. I see your fates before thy eyes, and quest I set. Bonding with blood ties, seek out Morthal's blade, bane, a weapon I allow you to keep, but when I come for it, tears of blood and salt you will weep. Suddenly, the magic user runs from the road and into the undergrowth. The others struggle but follow to keep up. Such a pace is set by the possessed warrior. Half hour later, the magic user suddenly halts by a cave close to a stagnant pool and shakes his head as if waking from an incredibly deep sleep. The warrior is baffled by the events that have just passed, but is adamant that whatever force has taken control will not leave the party alone until the two-handed weapon is recovered. The adventurers arm up and enter the cave. Okay. Oh, right off the bat. Usually that doesn't happen. Five venomous giant spiders, one venomous gigantic spider, and one vicious river troll. Okay, we're not going to wait. We're going to go right in and start attacking. Because this is spiders. They're annoying more than anything else. Okay. 
normally I'd wait at the door, but these spiders get bothersome quick because they just keep webbing, 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 and then I can't do anything for a round. So it's better just go in, take them out. And that's exactly why. Okay, we use blood pulse on the marauder. Okay, nothing else we can do this round. We do have six magic, but we better use this healing, but we'll hang on to it for now. Again. And we'll use her herb lore. Failed. Alright. Six magic left. I'm going to use healing mist. And two wounds. Okay. I'll use blood pulse. for the next room. End our turn there. Move the Marauder in. And it's a hallway. Use her herb lore. Okay. And we'll end our turn there. Next room. Another hallway. Okay, we'll end our turn there. One stone troll, two orc shaman, and four venomous giant spiders. Okay. Wizard cast Shadow Bolt first, back here. Twice. Let's have Cethela start working on these. Okay, we're at least down to one spider, so only one can web us. Go ahead and use his one range shot. And start working on the stone troll. Excellent, and we'll end our turn.
turn there. Okay, that's going to be annoying, so let's get rid of that guy. Okay. Let's have her start working on the Savage Orc Shamans. I'll just use uh, some mind razors. Okay, we'll end our turn there. Okay, this time we definitely need to cast Blood Pulse on him. Wildly inaccurate. Finish him off. There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and use Blood Pulse. There we go. Okay, and we will end our turn there. Random attack. One Black Orc Big Boss, one Black Orc Boss, one Savage Orc Big Boss, and one Savage Orc Boss. Okay, what we're going to do then is we're going to move Marauder down here. Let's hack both of these guys so that they pay attention to him. I'm going to move the wizard into the corner. He has no magic to use. We'll start in on the Savage Orc Big Boss. I was going to say, at least do something. Alright. We're going to work on the one in the corner. Okay, we'll end our turn there. Ah.
Ranged attack. Five magic left. We'll reserve it for now. Come on. Thank you. Okay, Herblar failed. That comes mind razors. Do it again. Okay. Okay. End our turn there. Finish them off. Please finish them off. There we go. Okay. All right. Uh, who needs healing? Actually, let's just go ahead and use blood pulse. Okay. Four magic left. We'll use healing mist. Okay, we'll end our turn there. At the center of the room is room the mortal's bane can be seen dangling from the raptors via a silver cord. 
The warriors are naturally cautious, as although the chamber seems empty now, they are experienced enough to know that an artifact this valuable will not be left unguarded. One Savage Orc Big Boss, five Savage Orc, and five Savage Orcs with bows. Alright. And we'll end our turn there. Defense sucks this round. <clears throat> yeah, your defense really sucks this round. <clears throat> and of course, he goes berserk. Let's use her herb lore on him first, plus four wounds. Use the, uh, not lack of mind razors, blood pulse. Oh. And we'll go ahead and do it one more time. Oh. Okay. Now let's have Dwarf start working on this Savage Big Boss. The Zog Snick. Can't do anything this round. Let's go ahead and try working on the Savage Orc with bow. Excellent. Okay. We use the Lesser Scroll of Healing on Frederick. And. Use the talisman of power to replenish. Oh. We're up to 24 now, so we'll end our turn there. Seriously. Your defense sucks. Okay, so now he has Berserk. Let's try and take out that guy in the corner. Start working on Zog Snake. Okay. Okay. We'll use Blood 
blood pulse. his health at 29 I think we'll be okay okay and we'll use herbal or on him as well 12 wounds nice all right We'll end our turn there. Like I'm trying to figure this out. How how his defense got so bad this ah. this round. Hunter's Eye. actually use Occam's Mind Razors. All the monsters vanquished, the adventurers can search the chamber at their leisure. It doesn't take long to locate the mortal's blade, or mortal's bane, and through a hidden alcove, a hoard of gold, which the play adventurers plunder without a moment's thought. So we'll add that to the stash. Settlement discovered. Let's travel to the town of Munzig. New settlement animation. Munzig is a, is a town that clings to the southeastern face of the Black Mountains. The populace are fiercely independent, disputing the Empire's claim the settlement lies within the nation's borders. Getting to Munzig is no easy task. A treacherous climb along a narrow, shale-covered path up the steep mountainside deters many casual visitors. However, your party is not so easily swayed. They arrived in Munzig, weary but unbowed. 
The residents eye the newcomers with suspicion, but will not turn away business. They may staunchly reject the Empire's sovereignty, but they are more than happy to take its coin. Your party is hungry and tired after the journey, so Munzig Inn may be a good place to start. The common room of the inn is quiet. Beside your party, there is only one other patron. It is a dwarf. His gray beard is long, even for one of his race. It spills over his belt and onto the floor. The end lying in a puddle of stagnant ale. This is a strange behavior for a dwarf who normally take pride in the appearance and state of their facial hair. The dwarf stares vacantly at nothing in particular, but then notices the warriors for the first time. He gets up and moves towards them, unmindful of dragging his beard across the filthy floor. He closes with the kinsman in your party and claps his hand firmly on the warrior's shoulder, speaking Kazalid. He says, You've come for the mine, haven't you? Turn back. There's more than silver in there. Sticking to the common tongue, he turns his attention to the whole group. It's no mine, it's the trickster's vault. They say Shard is in there. You'll be driven mad before you get close. For some, the vault is a chamber of fire. Others see a frozen f fountain lying in a, chill, in a room so chill it slows the senses. I've seen some war Wazaks come screaming out of the mine, claiming the vault is a lair of spiders. But I know the secret, says the mad dwarf in an exasperated whisper. I know how the trickster changes his vault. I could share it with you if I was motivated enough. Yeah, it's worth a hundred gold. A wise decision, states the dwarf, spiriting the coins away into his lengthy beard. He leans in conspiratorially. The vault shapes its surrounding depending on who enters the dungeon. If your parties are tough or as strong as the smith's anvil, the trickster will test you with fire. If your party are fast, he will slow you with ice. If your parties have if your fighters have eyes or sorry, if your fighters' eyes and stature, he will send you all to a monstrous lair. Heed these words if you enter the mine. This knowledge will give you a small measure of control over the perils you will face. The dwarf returns to his seat and refuses to speak any more on the matter. That doesn't really help, but eh, 100 gold. Not a big deal. Alright, let's go to the market. Let's go sell the junk. See, if we give him Mortal's Blade, that replaces the shield and the sword. Because he goes to a two handed. Loses two toughness though, and a chance to block with that. But he can do significantly more damage. I say go for it. Let's try it out at least. Because, see, once again, it says 7 to 9 with Berserk plus 1 melee attacks, but when I put it in his inventory, it doesn't say that. Okay, I need to get a green item. And that's it. Okay, we will hold off before we get rid of that. Okay. Let's go to buy. Actually, sell. Just check. Okay, no. Uh, medium provisions. We'll take that. Or, oh no, potion of healing. Medium provisions. Actually, we'll just take the potion of healing. I think we only need one green item, right? Yeah. And the rest is potions, so nothing we desperately need. 
Okay. We're almost able to level up the Grey Wizard. So we're going to end our adventure here for now. I want to thank you again for coming along. And as always, if you enjoy these videos as much as I enjoy creating them, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. You know, share it with your friends. But until next time, happy adventuring.